Hi again, it's Steph. I'm inside my house now because what I'm going to talk about tonight is some things that, some backyard basics that you can use this summer for your home. Um, a couple of things that I like to do and I've incorporated since I've begun using oils are, okay, at this time of the year, sometimes we experience some insects coming into our house. Maybe it's tiny little ants, maybe it's spiders, whatever the case may be. I don't know about you guys, but I don't love that. And I also don't necessarily feel that I wanna put ant traps out because I've got a puppy and not little kids, but elementary age school kids, and I don't feel like I need that out. So what I have done is used peppermint. You can either make a spray, just pick up any like four ounce spray bottle and you fill it mostly with water, maybe a little bit of witch hazel, and then um, like 10 drops of peppermint. And you can spray that along your windows or doors or any area that you're maybe seeing insects come in. Another thing that you can do is just put peppermint like on a cotton ball or a cotton round and leave that in the places that you would maybe naturally leave an ant's trap. So if you've got, if you know they're coming in from a certain window, I like to even take that cotton ball and like rub it along the seam for the window and then maybe just leave it there. And that'll help deter the insects from your house. So that is one fun tip. Another must have for the summer is thieves cleaner. So if you've been using Young Living, hopefully you've had an opportunity to use thieves cleaner. So it is a highly concentrated household cleaner. It comes in a 14 ounce size. It also comes in a 64 ounce size. And just to give you an idea, you mix, there are different dilution ratios, but for kind of your basic everyday cleaning, you use one ounce of cleaner to either a 30 ounce bottle, or if you want a little heavier cleaning, a 16 ounce bottle. And that's just like a cap full of the cleaner and then fill up your bottle and that is gonna clean your windows, your mirrors, your countertops, your you know stains on your carpet, stains of pretty much anything. It's a plant-based cleaner, however, it will stand up to any, any tough cleaner and clean just as effectively. And you don't have to worry about the ingredients. But why do I talk about it when I talk about spring or summer? So if you're like me, you wanna get your house, you know, you get that spring cleaning fever and you wanna get things really fresh and really clean. So if you're cleaning your windows, it has on the back of the bottle, it has dilution charts. We, um, you can search Young Living Thieves Cleaner and get all sorts of different recipes and dilution charts. But um, you can use this with some hot water and clean your windows, scrub your screens, clean your window tracks, clean the inside. There's tons of recipes for a DIY oven cleaner, cleaning your barbecue at this time of the year. Um, and so all that kind of deep spring cleaning, wipe down your closets, whatever it is that you do in the spring to get ready for summer, Thieves Cleaner is your friend. And again, just, you can pick up this. This is like from Target. You can grab this at the dollar store, or you can get these really cute glass bottles as well if you want to be a little fancier. I have also made a mold and mildew cleaner. It's really fancy here in my Home Depot bottle. But um, we have some uh, lawn chairs that have tended over the years to get dirty, moldy, mildewy. And so a couple years ago, I just searched mold and mildew cleaner. I'll share the recipe, but all it is is one cup of distilled water, 15 drops of thieves oil, or one capful of this, again, I told you it was very versatile, this cleaner, and then 15 drops of tea tree or Melaleuca A. You put that in here, I, I have more, I can double it or triple it in this bottle. And all you do is spray those areas of concern, let it sit for like 15 to 30 minutes, and then come back with some warm water and scrub it. You will be amazed at what it will take off. A couple of other things that can be your friend in the summer is fruit and veggie soak and fruit and veggie spray. Notice they're all part of this thieves line, one of Young Living's most famous lines, and there's a plethora of products. So this fruit and veggie soak, I wanna say it's like $11 for this container, which is 16 ounces. It, it'll last me easily six months. 
I when I go grocery shopping and I have all my produce, I just take one cap of the cleaner and put it in a bowl. I use like a large stainless steel bowl, but you could use anything. You could even just put it in your kitchen sink with a stopper in <clears throat> and then some water and you soak your produce for two minutes. That's it. You just soak it for two minutes, maybe swish it around a little and then rinse your produce with clean water, dry it. That's it. It removes all the pesticides, any residue that's been left on your produce from the time that it's been grown, harvested, packaged, trucked, loaded at the grocery store, handled at the checkout. You got to get that stuff off before you eat it, right? And this takes like five minutes for the whole process. If you have berries, I don't like to soak my berries. Or if you're on the go, like you're having a picnic, you're at the zoo, and you didn't have time to wash the apple before you left, this is a spray and it is going to be your best friend. You literally just spray the fruit, wipe it off, and you can eat it. I have, I love this little tray thing, I don't know, tiny um, colander that I have for berries. So I'll just stick my strawberries or blackberries or raspberries in this, a couple squirts, rinse it off, set them down, let them dry, and I've got clean fruit. So then the last thing that I'm going to show you is um, a DIY citronella bowl. So I want to show you how to make that. So I'm going to adjust Let's see. Um, so I just use, I like to use a pretty glass bowl and you can go about this a few different ways, but I just fill it with water. No need to use any fancy distilled water or anything. So you just get some water in there and then you just are gonna add your citronella and your lemongrass. So citronella and lemongrass oils. You do 20 drops of citronella I'm using a little bit of a smaller bowl, so I don't know if I need 20 drops, but you would put your 20 drops of citronella in here, or maybe a little less, depending on the size of your bowl. And then you just need 10 drops of lemongrass, or half as many drops of lemongrass in here. You top it off with a little bit of witch hazel. So you notice that I talked about witch hazel when I talked about the um, peppermint spray as well. And that, it, it acts a little bit like a emulsifier or a mixer, and it ensures that the oils and the water don't just separate, and it helps to mix it up. And then, so that's really it, but, you know, you're going to put it outside. Maybe you're entertaining. You want to fancy it up a little, you just decorate it however you want. So I'm adding some leaves. You can add flowers. Um, you can also add, like, a floating candle. And that's it. So no smelly citronella candle. That's really not good for you. Outdoors, none of those burning citronella, I don't know, bamboo things. Just make yourself a little DIY citronella bowl. It can be a beautiful centerpiece and doubles as a way to keep the bugs away. Enjoy your next backyard outing.